Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. This will be your percent review for your concept check on Thursday. So for this video, what you are going to do is you are going to watch the video. I'm going to do a problem with you. And then on the next slide, you are going to do the problem on your own by answering the questions in the Ed Puzzle. Let's get started. Okay, let's first look at the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percent. The first one we have is 30%. So if I wanted to write this as a fraction, I would write 30 out of 100 because every percent is out of 100. This could be simplified down to 3 tenths. If I wanted to write this as a decimal, I would write it as 30 hundredths or 3 tenths. So there are several different ways to write 30%. 9%, so 9% is 9 out of 100, which cannot be simplified. And the decimal version of this would be 0 0.09, okay? Because the nine has to be in the hundredths place because this is the hundredths. And then for 65%, you have 65 out of 100. But if that was an option, that means it can be simplified. And remember, I showed you how to do that in your Desmos calculator. So it may be simplified by down to 13 twentieths. Okay, but your decimal would still be 65 hundredths. Now it's your turn. On the first one, I asked you to write, to do both the fraction and the decimal. So for 24%, you should have had 24 out of 100, or, or and I should say, you should have written it as 24 hundredths. For the 8%, I only ask you to write it as a decimal, which would have been 0 0.08 or 8 hundredths. 85%, I asked you to write as a fraction. But if you tried 85 out of 100, if you, it, or 85 out of 100 wasn't an option on the multiple choice. So you had to simplify it. So when you did that, you would see that it simplified down to 17 twentieths. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now let's take a look at changing decimals into fractions and percents. So remember, it's all about reading your decimals correctly. So this is in the tenths place. So you would write three tenths. And then to make it into a percent, like I showed you on your weekly practice, you can multiply the three tenths by 100, and that would tell you that it would be 30%. Because if I wanted to write an equivalent form of this to be out of 100, we would multiply by 10, which gives us 30 out of 100. So this next one, it is 7 hundredths. So 7 out of 100 would be 7%. And this last one would actually be 452 thousands, because it's in the thousands place, which would be 45 and 2 tenths percent. Because what you should be noticing is the decimal is just moving twice because you're multiplying by 100. Okay, so now it's your turn. Try the following. Let's review. So for this one, you should notice this is 9 tenths, which is equivalent to 90 one hundredths. Or if you remembered on your decimals, I showed you, you could multiply your decimals by 100 to make them into a percent. So that would give you 90%. And this next one, it's in the hundredths place. So that would be 32 percent. This one is also in the hundreds place, so it would be 5 percent. It's all about the place value with decimals. Now let's take a look at changing fractions to percents and decimals. So 7 out of 100 would be 7 percent, and we would also write that as 7 hundredths. 4 tenths can be written as 4 tenths, which if we needed it to be out of 100, we can add the zero at the end, which tells us it's 40%. 24 fiftieths, we would need to make that out of 100 before we change it into a decimal. So 50 times 2 would be 100. So 24 times 2 would be 48. There we go. Which would be 48%. And then we have 9 twentieths. We also need to make this out of 100. So we times this by 5, and we times the top by 5, which would give us 45 hundredths, which would be 45%. And also, the decimal would be 45 hundredths. This decimal, sorry, I skipped. 
would be 48 hundredths. Your key word that you have to type in at the end of the video is going to be taco. Now you're going to write the percent for each of the following. Okay, let's review. So 12 out of 100 would be 12 percent. Two fifths, we would have to make it out of 100. So five times 20, two times 20. So that'd be 40 out of 100, which would be 40 percent. And then we have to change the 50 to be out of 100 because percents are all out of 100 times two, and then 36 times two would be 72. So it would be 72 percent. Okay, the baseball team won 80 percent of their games. If they played 20 games, how many games did they win? So we have to think of this as our 100 percent is the 20 games they played. So there's 20 games. We are trying to find 80%. But there's not an easy connection from 100% to 80%. So what we need to do is simplify down to a lower number. For example, going down to 10%. 10% is an easy, it's called a benchmark. So to go from 100% down to 10%, we would divide by 10. So then we need to do 20 divided by 10, which is 2. And now we can go straight here. 10% times eight would give me 80%. So two times eight would give me 16. So they won 16 games. Okay, now it's your turn. A soccer team won 70% of their games. If they played 40 games, how many did they win? Okay, let's go over it. So 100% would be all of their games, which would be the 40. We are trying to get to 70%, but there, once again, there's not that direct line. So I would recommend dropping down to 10%. 10% are easy. So to go from 100% down to 10%, you divide by 10. So 40 divided by 10 is 4. So then the next step is to go from 10% to 70%, which is times 7. So 4 times seven is 28. So they won 28 games. Okay, let's take another look at a percent problem. I highly recommend you are paying attention to this one. There are 21 boys in the class, 75% of the class. This is 75% of the class. So they're saying that this is, the 75% is boys. Okay, so I know that 75% is boys, so that's 21. But they want us to know how many students are in the class total, so we're having to find the 100%. But just like the last problem, this isn't a straight shot. So we are going to go down to 25% first. So as you know, if you count by 25s, you can get to 75, and that's by 75 divided by three. So 21 divided by 3 would give me 7. Now we can make the jump from 25% to 100%, which is times 4. So 7 times 4 would be 28. So there are 28 students in the class out of 100%. Okay, now it's your turn. There are 12 girls at a math class. This is 40% of the class. How many students are in the class? Okay, let's check our answer. So we said that 12 girls represent 40%, but we are trying to find the entire class, which is 100%. So I can't do a quick jump from 40% to 100%. So some of you might think to go down to 10%. So 40 divided by 4 is 10, so then 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then you can go up from there from 10% times it by 10 to get 100, so 3 times 10 will give you 30. So there are 30 students in the class. Okay, let's do a taxes review. Grayson bought a new Xbox controller for $60. 
if the sales tax is 5%, so we're not in Bentonville because we know it's more, how much will Grayson pay in taxes? So we have to remember that our $60 is 100% because that's the total cost. We are looking for 5% of that cost. So to get from 100% down to 5%, we would divide by 20. And 60 divided by 20 is three. So he is gonna pay $3 in taxes. And if you don't know that 100% divided by 20 is five, just do 100 divided by five to see what you should be dividing by. Okay, it is your turn. Bella bought a pair of jeans for $40. It's a sales tax is 5%. How much will Bella have to pay in taxes? Okay, let's check our answer. So $40 would represent 100%. We are having to find 5%. So we know that is dividing by 20. So we will also divide the 40 by 20, which is two. So Bella has to pay $2 in taxes. Okay, tips review. Maddie ate dinner at Shogun's. The bill came to $62. If she left a 20% tip, how much was the tip? So our $62 is the 100%. And we are trying to go down to 20%. So to get from 100% to 20%, we would divide by five. So then we are also gonna have to do the same thing for $62 divided by five you will get 12.4. And like we talked about before, 12.4 is $12.40. You cannot place a zero in between a decimal and a number. Wherever that decimal is, that has to be right beside that number. So it'd be $12.40. Okay, now it's your turn. Parker went to eat at walk-on. The bill came to $44. If he left a 20% tip, how much was the tip? Okay, let's go over it. So the $44 would be 100%. We are trying to find the 20%. So we would divide by five. So we would need to do $44 divided by five, which would be eight and eight tenths, which you should have said was $8.80 not $8.08. Okay, let's do a discount example. The original price of a skateboard is $56, but it is on sale for 25%. How much money is taken off the original, taken of the original price? So the $56 represents 100%, but we are wanting to find 25%. So we know to get from 100% down to 25, that's divided by four because 25, 50, 75, 100 is four. So that means I also need to do 56 divided by four, which will give us 14. So that means it would take $14 off the price. Okay, now it's your turn. The original price of a trampoline is $300, but it is on sale for 25% off. How much money is taken of the original price? Okay, let's go over this. So $300 represents 100%. But I need to find the 25%, which we know is dividing the 100% by four. So what I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So 300 divided by four is 75. So they would take off $75 if there's 25% off. Great job today, everyone. Um, don't forget that there is a quizzes for you to do and then you are done for the day for math. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.